For decades, the US and Soviet Union raced to dominate space. Now China is rapidly emerging as a major space power, aiming to control the final frontier. Its program advances at breakneck speed, launching more rockets than any other nation. Space is now a core part of China's military strategy. China is developing ways to disrupt vital satellites, challenging US dominance. The outcome of this new space race will shape the 21st century. The world is watching as a new star rises in the East. In 2007, China destroyed one of its own satellites with a missile, scattering debris across orbit. Since then, China has developed lasers, jammers, and robotic systems to disable satellites without creating debris. China is building a vast satellite network, the world's second largest, supporting communication, navigation, and surveillance. The Beidou system, China's answer to GPS, gives the PLA global reach and precision, this satellite boom is a direct challenge to U.S. dominance in space. The next conflict may be decided not on land or sea, but in orbit. Modern warfare depends on the kill chain, the process of finding, tracking, and striking a target. Satellites are the critical links in this chain. They provide the eyes and ears for militaries, delivering real-time intelligence from above. Reconnaissance satellites spot enemy forces and movements invisible to ground-based sensors. Without them, militaries are blind. Satellites also track moving targets, relaying data instantly to command centers. They connect soldiers, pilots, and commanders across continents, enabling coordinated action. This flow of information makes modern militaries fast and lethal. Precision-guided weapons rely on satellite navigation to strike with pinpoint accuracy. Fewer weapons are needed and collateral damage is reduced. But this reliance is a vulnerability. If satellites are jammed or destroyed, the kill chain collapses. Smart weapons become dumb, and military effectiveness plummets. In a conflict between major powers, satellites will be among the first targets. The side that controls space controls the battlefield below. The US and China both know this. The race is on to protect, and if necessary, attack, these vital assets. The future of warfare will be decided in orbit. The kill chain is only as strong as its links in space. The next war may be won or lost before a shot is fired on Earth. Space is the new high ground. China is building a powerful space-based targeting system to track and threaten U.S. forces. The Yaogan satellites provide real-time surveillance of ships and bases across the Pacific. This intelligence feeds directly into China's command system, linking satellites with missile launchers. The DF-21D carrier killer missile relies on satellite data to strike moving U.S. aircraft carriers at sea. Satellites detect, track, and update the missile's course mid-flight, making these weapons highly accurate. This capability challenges America's ability to operate freely in the Western Pacific. China's targeting network extends to U.S. bases in Japan, Guam, and beyond. Satellites identify runways, command centers, and fuel depots for potential attack. Long-range missiles guided by space-based intelligence threaten U.S. power projection. The result is an anti-access-slash-area denial bubble, a 2-slash-AD, designed to keep U.S. forces at bay. China's integration of satellites and precision missiles is a game-changer. The U.S. must now operate under constant surveillance and threat. The balance of power in Asia is shifting. China's space-based targeting is not just about ships, it's about controlling the entire region. The US and its allies must adapt to this new reality. The next crisis could see satellites guiding missiles in real time. The margin for error is shrinking. The stakes for deterrence and defense have never been higher. Space intelligence is now the key to victory, or defeat. The Pacific is no longer safe from space. The battlefield has moved to orbit. China isn't just building offensive space weapons, it's also fortifying its own assets. The HQ-19 and HQ-29 missile defense systems are designed to intercept incoming threats, protecting China from attack. This great wall in space combines offense and defense, China's strategy blind US forces while shielding its own. Beyond missiles, China is developing soft kill weapons, lasers to blind satellites, jammers to disrupt signals. These attacks are hard to trace, making them ideal for crisis situations. Ambiguity is a weapon in itself. The PLA's Strategic Support Force unites space, cyber, and electronic warfare under one command. China's goal total space control as a prerequisite for victory on Earth. The US must now prepare for attacks that are fast, covert, and hard to attribute. The line between offense and defense is blurring. 
China's integrated approach is reshaping the rules of war. The next conflict may be fought in silence, with satellites blinded and signals jammed. Space dominance is now central to China's military doctrine. The high ground has never been more contested. The U.S. is responding to China's challenge with a new approach to space security. Instead of relying on a few large satellites, the Pentagon is building vast constellations of small, resilient satellites. This proliferated constellation makes it harder for adversaries to cripple U.S. capabilities. The Space Development Agency leads this effort, creating networks for communication, data relay, and missile tracking. In 2019, the U.S. established the Space Force, the first new military branch in 70 years. Its mission protect American interests in space, operate satellites, and defend against threats. The Space Force signals that space is now a warfighting domain. The U.S. is also developing maneuverable satellites and countermeasures against lasers and jamming. Much of this work is classified, but the goal is clear deter attacks and ensure space superiority. The U.S. seeks responsible counterspace capabilities, able to deny adversaries access without creating lasting debris. The aim is deterrence, not escalation. The new space architecture is about survival in a contested domain. The U.S. is adapting to a world where space is no longer safe. The race for the high ground is accelerating. The future of security depends on what happens above our heads. Space isn't just threatened by missiles. Cyber attacks are a growing danger. Satellites are flying computers, vulnerable to hacking and digital sabotage. A skilled hacker could seize control, shut down, or redirect a satellite. Attacks on ground stations can sever links without a single shot fired. China's cyber warfare program targets U.S. satellite networks, seeking to disrupt communications and navigation. Cyber attacks are hard to trace, making them attractive tools for covert conflict. Another threat, co-orbital weapons, satellites that approach and disable others in orbit. China's servicing satellites could double as space weapons, grabbing or jamming targets. These systems can lie dormant, disguised as debris, then strike with little warning. The U.S. is developing similar technologies, blurring the line between peaceful and hostile actions. This ambiguity increases the risk of miscalculation and escalation. The next space conflict may begin with a silent hack or a sudden satellite maneuver. Defending against invisible threats is now a top priority. The digital and physical battles for space are converging. The rules of engagement are being rewritten in real time. The U.S.-China space rivalry is reshaping global security. Allies like Japan, Australia, and South Korea are boosting their own space programs and working closely with the U.S. joint exercises and new military space units are creating a network of allied space powers. This cooperation aims to deter Chinese aggression, but also accelerates the militarization of space. Russia remains a major player, developing its own anti-satellite weapons and partnering with China on lunar projects. A Sino-Russian alliance in space would complicate U.S. strategy, raising the risk of a two-front conflict. The new space race is crowded and competitive, with more nations developing offensive capabilities. The risk of accidents, misunderstandings, or escalation is rising. A conflict in space could quickly spread to Earth or vice versa. The lines between peace and war, civilian and military, are blurring. The international community faces tough questions about how to keep space safe. New rules and agreements are urgently needed. The world must act to prevent space from becoming the next battlefield. The choices made now will shape the future of space for everyone. The stakes are global and growing. And we stand at a crossroads. Space is now a domain of competition and potential conflict. China's rise has shattered the old order, forcing the U.S. and others to adapt. The action-reaction cycle risks pushing war into orbit with catastrophic consequences. A conflict in space would create debris, crippling the systems our world depends on. GPS, communications, finance, and weather forecasting could all be lost. The pursuit of dominance could leave everyone worse off. Innovation must be matched by diplomacy. The world needs new rules to prevent destructive anti-satellite tests and build transparency. The US, China, and others share an interest in keeping space safe and sustainable. Cooperation is not weakness, it's wisdom. The question is not if China will rise but how the world will manage this new reality. Will space become a battlefield or a place for shared achievement? The decisions made today will decide the answer. The future of the final frontier hangs in the balance. The world must choose conflict or cooperation.